Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how we can synchronize the time on the RTC of your uh, microcontroller or if you are using external RTC and if you don't have a proper battery backup present and uh, you want to make sure that your device is always synchronized to the correct time then what you can do is if you are having a GSM module on board then you can get the time from the RTC of the GSM module and you can synchronize the time of your uh, microcontroller or the external RTC with the GSM module RTC but uh, we also need to make sure that the GSM module RTC is always uh, synchronized to the correct time. So to synchronize the GSM module RTC to the network time we use a command called a CLTS. So before I will show you how we can get the time of the RTC of the GSM module. We can use the command called AT plus CCLK question mark. This command will give the current time that is being set on the RTC of the GSM module. But this time is not right because the GSM module is not having any battery backup and the RTC of the GSM module cannot keep the time when the power is not there. So what we need to do is we need to be able to synchronize the time of the GSM module RTC uh, with the network time. There is a command given in the GSM module AT command set uh, that's called AT plus CLTS is equal to 1. So uh, once you execute this command what happens is the, uh, the synchronization of the GSM module RTC with the network time is enabled on every boot up. So whenever the GSM module boots up this command will enable the RTC of the GSM module to be synchronized with the network time. So this will happen on every boot up. So what we need to do is we need to save the command using AT and W. So once we execute the AT and W command we can see that the, the network synchronization setting AT plus uh, CLTS. Uh, will be set to 1 which means that the, on every boot up the RTC time of the GSM module will be synchronized to the network time. Now we can uh, restart the GSM module. Now as you can see the time and the date has been set to the correct value uh, according to the current network time to which my GSM module is connected to. So the GSM module retrieves the time that is being set on the uh, network tower which it is connected to. Uh, now even if I restart again time will be correct and it will not uh, lose the synchronization because on every boot up the time will be automatically synchronized. Okay, the time is set correctly now and uh, using this method uh, you can enable the network time synchronization. This command will work for the GSM modules of SIMCOM as well as TELIT modules also. I have tested the same command on TELIT modules and it works fine. So we just need to enable the network synchronization using the AT plus CLTS is equal to one command and then you can get time of the SIMCOM or the, the GSM module RTC. Uh, using the AT plus CCLK command. So this method is very useful when you are having uh, devices which uh, do not have proper battery backup and you, uh, suppose if there is a removal of the battery even if you have a battery backup then the time synchronization of the RTC is lost and uh, using this method you can make sure that the time which is uh, sent by the device or, or the IoT device can is always correct and uh, is synchronized to the network time. So that's all for now. If you have any questions, drop me a mail to ravi at the rate valetron.com and if you have any technical queries, post it on my forum www.embeddedadvice.com and I'll make sure to answer that. If you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you for watching.